city uh, trying to develop their own like projects and uh, mapping the things which are important for them or developing um, projects that they could be profitable. And so uh, some are mapping churches, some are mapping street names in their surroundings. And um, we are using TeachOSM a lot for creating new tasks now, which can be smaller and related to very small interest cases. Yeah. Thank you, Cleo. Rob, uh, hi. what? Uh, so yeah, I'm Rob Nickerson from the United Kingdom. Uh, I'm a member of a community in the Midlands. We call ourselves Mapper Mercia after one of the historic kingdoms in the UK. Um, in terms of successes, I think uh, having a website uh, has been really beneficial for us. So we're an informal community, not set up as a company or uh, an entity as such, but having that online portal has meant that uh, organizations have felt more comfortable dealing with us uh, and in fact they even approach us through that online portal um, so it, it's enabled us to build links with some of the local councils local government authorities uh, some uh, individual organizations who share the same values as the open street map community um, and of course, it served as a, a way that we can demonstrate uh, what you can do with OpenStreetMap. So we have some some of our maps and products on there that we've created as a community, um, and to attract uh, community members and individuals through the the blog posts that we write and the the meetings that we uh, we uh, arrange throughout the year. So. Um, during the winter, we'll meet in a, a location in the centre of Birmingham, but through the summer months, we set up a schedule of programmes where we travel around the wider Midlands community, uh, um, you know, sort of an hour, hour and a half out of Birmingham in any direction. And in that way, we're able to meet people who can't always travel in um, on the evening, um, on a week, weekday evening into Birmingham. Uh, and we do um, some Saturday programs as well through that period, which helps uh, helps keep the community going and, and uh, enable people to attend when uh, they wouldn't necessarily be able to attend as part of an evening meetup. Thank you, Rob. Some good and great ideas. Just, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Belgium. Uh, <laughs> uh, first, I would like to apologize to Claire because we had an empty chair and um, we kind of spun a bottle and it pointed to Claire. So she has uh, absolutely no preparation whatsoever. So sorry about that. Um, also, we actually don't have nearly enough time to cover this uh, kind of subject. So I, I got a lot of really interesting responses. A lot of people who couldn't make it, uh, like uh, worst of all, Mohamed uh, Lamin, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. who in the end couldn't get a visa by our damn government. Um, so he couldn't make it. Um, and he gave some very interesting views. So um, I will be writing something influential about all this afterwards. Uh, it was also a very, uh, like very interesting opinions. For example, we're talking now about what works. And uh, I believe uh, it was Simon Poole who said, like, uh, what worked for us was not doing stuff. So I'm, I, I'm still waiting for the list of things he hasn't done. So I, I, I really want to write a, an article about all this. It's all very fascinating. Um, now, what worked for us recently, I think, uh, uh, the, the Missing Maps project has been really wonderful to uh, get people to come uh, to OpenStreetMap. is completely new people who otherwise wouldn't uh, at all come to our, our uh, activities. Um, a lot of women too. Uh, otherwise there's uh, Claire and Eureka and that's the Belgian women kind of. Um, <laughs> I think it's true, um, and uh, it, it really helps to organize our volunteer force as well. So it's it's, been, it's done more than just attract new, uh, new people, um, and it also really works to uh, work together with organizations that have their own uh, crazy people, uh, like the the people of the Slow Roads who had a presentation. They have uh, this big community of people who are absolutely nuts about very local paths. And they are pushing them towards uh, mapping those lo local paths in OpenStreetMap. And so they are already crazy about their subject. They have a passion. It's just 
channeling that passion towards uh, OpenStreetMap. And I really believe that's, that's something, like if you find similar organizations which unite crazy people, I think we are uh, very welcome to that kind of craziness. Hello. Ah, yeah. Anyone want to expand on uh, things that work or didn't work in the community? Or maybe we can move to another question. Is there something that we could do on a global scale to have new tools or united across all communities, but that would be beneficial to every local community in its own place? Anyone wants to take on that? Um, okay, I'll go first on that one then. Um, to me, I, I personally feel we're still lacking in mobile tools and very um, simple tools as well. So we talk about the complexity of being able to edit. And a lot of work has been done on desktop to improve uh, the ease of editing OpenStreetMap. So the introduction of ID a couple of years ago um, and a lot of the, the wonderful tools that you've seen over the last couple of days make it easy to visualize. Um, but for me, uh, as part of my work, I, I travel around and I, I find myself with a spare half hour here or there in a, in a city I don't know. And I'd love to be able to go out and map. But uh, you, you have a quick look on openstreetmap.org and, and visually it, it looks very deep. And it looks like there's a lot of information there. And I could spend that half an hour trying to work out what to go out and map. Um, whereas if there was something simple we can bring up your phone and it says um, the, the local community have, have marked fix me on these things or, or they've compared against uh, government data and they're not quite sure whether these entities are actually out on the street and there's one that's 200 yards down the road, go and, go and check it quickly. Um, that, that, that would be something that's very simple to do uh, and you wouldn't need to understand how to open, uh, edit OpenStreetMap, it might be something that's very simple, just saying, yes, it's there, and no, it's not there. Um, it's sort of like, the, how do you capture that Pokemon Go essence and bring that into OpenStreetMap so that we really build a very big community of people who can interact in a simple way without necessarily having to understand the complexities of nodes, ways, areas, and how, how to link all the bits together. Um, anyone who thinks that we could have better tools um, in any area that anyone could use in his own special way locally? Um, do you think there is some barriers uh, in the existing tools or framework in uh, the OSM project? We, we want to aim at local community building, so... I mean the, in, in Central Africa, the, I mean, one of the barriers we have in the tools is the connectivity issue. So uh, tools like POSUM seems like wonderful to, I mean, for facing the issues we, we are having in, in getting everyone connected during an event or a training. But there are still like issues which really need to be solved, like authentication issues, because we need people to be able to create new accounts, we need people to be able to have their edits being attributed to their account and not to another unique import account, like it is the, the situation at the moment with POSM. So, but if it, this gets uh, solved, it will be really a wonderful uh, solution. Um, definitely, tangible products help a lot, um, but in any kind. So there's, um, of course, Maps.me has been um, great for us as a community, just as a tool to promote. Um, Possum is really, in really interesting. Um, but the main concern I would like to raise, um, which I think we have to be better as a global community, is the wiki. It's really like it's very easy to say, let's put everything in the wiki. We can easily translate it. But um, the reality is that most of the people I got to know that were interested in OpenStreetMap, they were they were just turning away when they saw the wiki and how it is structured and how how it, it's really not it's really a geek tool um, and. Um, we probably have the difficulty that OpenStreetMap comes from communities that are um, from a generally higher educational level. 
So um, people are more nerdy, I would say, in, 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 um, in an average. Um, but if you want to be a diverse and global community, we really have to look how we can do better on, on getting, making this information localizable and um, understandable and um, being better on, on yeah, just giving this information how, how to map properly an open street map and not just giving a long list of tags. Uh, alors, chez nous, um, nous, on a besoin de, de support dans le sens d'équipement, de, de formation, uh, afin d'être bien outillés, nous-mêmes, d'abord en tant qu'informateurs, pour pouvoir uh, élargir notre communauté. So, in Mali, to expand the community, what they need is first and foremost uh, training for trainers and basic equipment uh, so that uh, trainers uh, can get uh, their hands on. And we welcome Usman. Uh, thanks for joining us, Usman. Can you tell us uh, what your, where is your local community and uh, what are your thoughts about uh, or discussion, please. Thank you. Uh, so I guess uh, in my yesterday's presentation, I discussed in detail about how the laws don't allow uh, Pakistani mappers to map Pakistan anymore because it's kind of uh, illegal now in a way that you, if you are not registered with the government, you cannot change the maps. Um, if, if I ignore that part, I guess the most important thing that uh, should work or that needs that 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 is needed for the community is that we need to understand and make them understand what is the importance of open data and uh, why is it uh, needed for everyone and how you, they can do it so there's kind of a um, deficit in the exposure in terms of um, understanding w that these tools are available and how they, they help in especially humanitarian response Thank you very much. I think we are running out of time, so please keep the conversation going. Oh, you want a closing word, Joost? Uh, I can't shut up. <laughs> so, uh, just one thing, like you need basic connectivity first, and then the second, second thing f I think is also very basic, like just a, a toolbox you can use to just start. Um, for example, okay, I go to a new city, I want to know who's active there, and then you can start look around, and you have some Pascal Nice, and then you have uh, you can look at the history, and you can you can start working on that, uh, and then you with a lot of work you will make a list of a hundred people who might or might not be interested, and you have to send them a message one by one. This is a kind of thing that you really want to have like uh, just make it easy for people to do stuff like that without allowing spamming of course I know it's got to be a challenge and that's probably why it didn't work and there are some basics in the osm.org uh, website which are missing to make that kind of thing uh, easier and yeah I, I know I should do it myself uh, if I want things like that but I'm not capable so yeah. All right. thank you everyone Ah, I will take one question for the audience. <laughs> Apologies to everyone for stalling your coffee. Um, I have one question, which is, you've all talked about making, your, making things easier for people to find OpenStreetMap, to use it, to interact around it, and yet we, what I also have heard during this conference is this idea of the, the same, like, why aren't we using IRC? Why aren't we all craft mappers? Like, why aren't we all doing the brass tacks, the actual, like, down in the nitty gritty? And I see those as not necessarily at odds with each other, but I assume you each run into that tension of what is legitimate and what is too easy. Um, and that's something that a lot of communities are talking about right now, not just this one. So I wonder if and how each of you has dealt with that tension. I've only noticed that tension on Twitter. Oh, where do we start on that one? 
Yeah, so as an organiser of the state, state of the Map, this conference, um, I've received a lot of praise for the things that work, but you also get the comments from people who say, oh, it's, it's got too much of this or too little of that. And, um, you know, give people a number, number 10, and you'll have some people saying, oh, it's too high, and some people saying, oh, it's too low. You, you, you can't please everybody. Um, I think the way you need to approach it is you need to be open and, and, uh, and listening to those thoughts. And, and that's why uh, bringing the community together at an event like this is really useful because it's it can be challenging online, uh, just in the text format. Messages can be misinterpreted and misread. Um, something which was just pointed out of a, oh, um, you know, a by the way comment becomes um, interpreted as something which is seen as more severe or more problematic. Uh, so, so keeping those communication channels open, uh, trying to communicate and meet in person as often as possible, I think is really useful. Um, but, but don't take it on heart. Um, you know, it's it's a, a big and wide community. It's going to be impossible to please everybody at the same time. Um, be open, be willing to listen, but don't worry too much if, you, if uh, there are some comments. Um, it, they're not personal comments, it's, it's just everybody's passionate about this community and about the project and they're passionate about their views and, and those views are going to be wide and varied and, and they're, they're just doing what's best for them, um, uh, what, what they think is best for the community and, and, uh, and are passionate about getting that message across. Um, yeah, it's it's just a bit, be open and, and 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 keep the communication channels open and going as much as possible. I think is the best. In our community, we didn't really feel those tensions. Neither. Um, I feel them very much. Um, I. I think for us, um, those um, the digital communication tools are gated communities, either levels of nerdiness, IRC, or because they're commercial and they're gated because like that. Um, I think our solution, if which is not a solution, but it works in somehow, uh, is to decentralize local groups meeting face-to-face, -face, personal contacts. That's definitely the way to go. Can you translate it, sir? Uh, have questions so that I can say something? Uh, it's, uh, maybe we, I can ask you. Is it possible to move this thing? We will, I think, we'll finish. Okay. I'm sorry. I think we will have to thank our panelists and let them move to the next activities. The day is full of other sessions, bird of a feather. Please pick the one you like and thank them, please. <laughs>